Hello Limonshire, so the other day I was thinking about curse words because I'm not really the kind of person to curse a lot, but I was realizing there are some times when you just want a word with that kind of oomph to use in a sentence. And of course that got me thinking about what makes a good curse word and why do they sound like they have so much oomph. And I came up with a list of a lot of things that English curse words have in common. Many of them are one syllable. This syllable is started and ended with really harsh consonants and in between those harsh consonants there's a really ugly vowel. The best curse words also begin and end with consonants that are really easy to say in quick succession, which facilitates saying the word over and over and over again if you're feeling particularly emphatic. So these qualities got me thinking about other words that you can use in place of curse words that have the same sonar quality to them. For example, fetch. Now fetch is an innocent enough word, but if you think about it, the f is like a good way to ramp up the power before you talk. And then the e is like the worst vowel in the English dictionary, especially if you hold it out. E There's no way you can get that to sound pretty. And then ch, ch that is like ch there's there's nothing more powerful to me than a good ch so fetch goes from innocence to ugliness. Just think about it. Oh, fetch, 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 fetch. It sounds like a curse word. And a good partner for fetch is catch. And catch sounds a little more emphatic because k is so angular in the way that it starts. K, catch, 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 catch. It's not as easy to say over and over again, but one time has so much more impact than fetch. And along these same lines, I found that the word quack is particularly powerful. Quack, 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 chip, and its backwards partner pitch, fat. Seriously, dude, what the fat? Come on, I can see myself actually saying that in a sentence. But the one that has just seemed the most unnerving to me is the word pulp. It starts and ends with the really angular puh, and then it has that uh in the middle that just won't ever sound pretty, and the uh kind of oozes into the last puh with a nice ooh. So like, just, just listen to the word. Pulp. Pulp. It's so, like, it just sounds disgusting. Of course, maybe I just think too much. Now, before I go and leave you with today's soapbox, I just wanted to let you know two things. One, I am currently out of soapboxes, so if you want to send one in, you could see one in a video really, really soon. And number two, since I'm recording all my videos on the same day now, I just wanted to let you know that I'm still wearing my proper knife shirt, and I'm actually really pleased with the way they came out, and if you are pleased with the way they came out, you can also go to the link in the description and it will take you there. You can get them in all sorts of colors, all sorts of sizes, all sorts of weights. Um, but if not, I'll try not to be overbearing about this advertising campaign. I just know it's easy to forget that people have stuff. If you want it, you can buy it. And if not, you know, I still love you. But now I've said enough about that. It's time for the soapbox. In communist Russia, we eat fizzotsi limon. It's Fizzotzi. Wait, whose video is this again?